The so-called godfather of AI, Jeffrey Hinton, has warned that the use of AI will eventually become an existential threat that may require humanity to unite. Jeffrey Hinton won the Nobel Prize for Physics in the use of physics to train AI model systems, and he has since become a proponent against them. This has echoed what Stephen Hawking warned, that once AI became autonomous and could make its own decisions, it would evolve faster than humanity, not constrained by physical bodies. If AI were to become truly intelligent, it might consider humanity a threat. These sorts of concerns have gone back to the 1940s. John von Neumann, who worked with J. Robert Oppenheimer for the nuclear bomb, believed that if AI were to self-replicate, and he actually helped develop it, it may eventually become a threat to humanity if it ever became true AI and truly capable of thought. This is, of course, echoed in a lot of science fiction, but for good reason. AI is already something that we can barely control. Not really. It is, for the most part, an echo of the information that we feed it. It ends up having the same flaws that we do because it consumes what we create. A true AI would be similar to what Google had made, a primordial soup of sorts. It would need to be capable of randomness, which is what Google created with their primordial soup AI, something that's capable of taking that randomness and then using it to further itself. That's how evolution works. It may also be how our mind works, but we can't really be sure. I've talked to a number of physicists and neuroscientists about whether true randomness really occurs, and no one can be sure. We may see things that replicate randomness very efficiently. The answer to having a truly intelligent AI may be quantum computation. If AI were to become truly intelligent, we may have the same results whether we arm it or not. Someone knows where this is from, right? Regardless of whether AI becomes truly intelligent or not, the use of AI in warfare has the potential to do a lot of harm. There used to be a need for a human to pilot something like a drone, but that's no longer the case. Massive amounts of decision-making that is not at the helm of humans can occur instantly. These more intelligent weapons have the capacity to cause destruction on a scale that we've never seen before. The other way that humanity could come together is for mutually assured destruction. This may be something that is so destructive that we have to agree not to use it. This would be the second time in human's history that we found something so destructive that it required international action to work together, even with those you might consider your enemies, to make sure that this does not happen. At least publicly, many of the weapons that are using AI right now are for drone defense. Many of the manufacturers do not want them to be used for offense. Regardless, that is still going to happen. Somebody is going to say yes. This really seems like a snowball scenario. The ball is already rolling and no one can stop it. We just have to make sure that we get a hold of it first as militaries around the world are quietly implementing their own defense systems using artificial intelligence. One of the things that I've heard echoed a lot is the concept that AI might be more reasonable than a person. They might be able to make better decisions. My answer to that is to understand that AI is only a reflection, at least now. That's why it is prone to such bad behavior. And it's prone to making up information, and we don't know how to fix it. What are your thoughts? Am I all faced on this? Are you carrying out a <laughs> than the tiny prokaryotes swarming in the culture? <laughs>